if introduction for the uh, Google Chrome Web Data Research Assistant extension. I've sent you a, a link and you should uh, just type that in there and that will take you to the um, Google Chrome Web Store and you press on this button and you will get uh, the extension added to your um, to your browser you see a little um, pop-up window comes up here confirming and there's a little green icon there which is actually a spreadsheet icon with a little blue Twitter bird next to it that's so small you can't see it um, so if I just uh, close that off and go let's go straight to Twitter so the whole point of this is to gather um, data from um, Twitter or also Google, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and so let's. So I'm on a, a Twitter page, and I'm just going to click on this button up here. And what it will show me, I hope, is yes, a nice uh, window here with a table of tweets uh, that, uh, that are coming up. And you see that that set of tweets is changing because what um, what's going on is that the uh, is that the extension is not only collecting the data from each of the tweets, it's scrolling the page right down to the bottom, you saw it there, uh, to to prompt Twitter uh, the Twitter server to send more results. And so it will keep doing this in the background because this is my um, uh, just just my ordinary uh, timeline. The things that I see, it will keep going on forever. And you see, we're up to two hundred and eleven uh, results at the moment. Um, you can scroll it across to see all the data that's being collected. So it's not only putting it in this table on the screen; it's also putting it on the clipboard ready for us to use. So what I'm going to do is I'll just um, navigate away from this page by going to Wikipedia. Uh, so there it is. it'll stop collecting the tweets now. And if I go over to Microsoft Excel and now I just press choose paste then all those the data from all those tweets will go into Excel. Um, I will just change the format of that uh, to stop the text wrap, so it looks a bit more like a there, uh, a bit more like a, an Excel spreadsheet. And then I'll just zoom in a bit for the purposes of this video. Now it's provide these different columns. You can see it's providing the tweets in the order that uh, we saw them on the Twitter browser, and um, so they're actually numbered numerically from the um, the earliest as they are presented to the latest and so we, um, we can see that here. What we have in the final column, if I scroll over you see, or well, final two columns, you see it says timestamp and that's a presentation of the, the time that this tweet was made but in sort of a human uh, a, a human presentation so two hours ago uh, and then there's the computer representation the number of seconds uh, literally the number of seconds that this was tweeted since the beginning of 1970 and so that happens to be a useful piece of data that we can uh, we can sort on just to get this into uh, let's choose seconds smallest to largest and that will put them in the time order since they were originally tweeted. And uh, you see that uh, we've got some quite early timestamps going on here um, from uh, a couple of years ago, and that's because someone has retweeted something uh, that was originally posted a long time ago. So, um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, so let us have a look at some of these columns. The N I've explained. The ID is actually the internal ID that um, Twitter assigns to this. It's a very large number, too large 
for Excel to reliably handle, actually. And so um, it's, it appears in uh, square brackets just to make Excel treat it as text. Um, but if you need to quote the ID, that's the, that's the number that you, you need. Uh, each row corresponds to a particular tweet, obviously, and then replies, retweets, and favorites just gives you the number uh, of replies, retweets, and favorites that this particular tweet attracted. Um, you can see who the author is, and that's the screen name of the author, i.e. Uh, what you think of the username. Uh, don't forget it says author, but of course this might not be a human, or it might be a corporate account, it might be a bot, um, and so uh, be careful about how you interpret that. Then text is just the, the text of the tweet itself, and so I'll, I'll give that a bit more space uh, to look at, there you are, and you see that the text might include some some URLs, or it might include some um, other Twitter names that are being mentioned, but uh, I don't do anything with that at the moment. The URL that we give here is actually the URL of the tweet itself. So if you copy that URL, paste it into your browser, you, what you'll come up with is the original tweet, and you'll be able to click through and see um, more information about the user and, and everything. So, um, so that's, that's where, that's that. If I go back to the browser, obviously, um, I can do some searching. So if I search for um, let's have a look. Let's have a look at Jack. He's the uh, Jack is the first Twitter user. Who Jack Dorsey, the um, uh, the man who runs Twitter, and obviously he's being a bit um, con contentious at the moment because he's uh, you know there are arguments about uh, whether Twitter is doing enough to make it a safe place or whether um, it's uh, allowing alt-right elements to take it over. Uh, let's have a look at the search filters here and you will see uh, we can have a look at advanced search and that's where things get interesting because normally Twitter doesn't allow you to see very much into the past, only a week or so. But if you and through the advanced search interface, you can type, you know, I want to see ja all of Jack's things, and I can say, well, I want to go from the beginning of, uh, let's have a look, from the beginning of January uh, 2016 to, oh, let's just keep it to that month, shall we? Uh, well, let's do the whole year. Let's ask for a whole year's worth of tweets, but not this year, uh, 2016. If I press search there, and I get um, I get the same behaviour when I tweet it, and we can see it's going backwards and backwards. At the moment, we're still on the 30th of December, um, 2016. There seems to be uh, a lot of discussion. Uh, a lot of discussion on a particular topic uh, that's going on. So you see we're up to 107 tweets that have been collected and we're only back a couple of days. Um, you can leave this going. It will safely get a couple of thousand tweets. I've got an artificial cutoff on there if the data gets too big um, and uh, uh, um, which should allow you to do most of the kinds of data collection that you want to do, but it'll just stop um, stop you going off for a cup of tea and then having to give a lecture and coming back and finding out that you've uh, you've been trying to get 10 million tweets because you've forgotten about it. Uh, so we're on 267 and we're still only on the 28th of December. Oh, but now we've skipped to the 14th of December. 
and the 9th of December, so we're, we're speeding up again. So you decide how much you want to do. Um, but that is what I use to get hold of uh, the, the data that uh, people ask for, for particular activities from particular people on particular topics in particular time periods. And as long as it, it's no more than a thousand or two thousand tweets, fine. So let's have a let's have a look instead. At, let's go to Google um, because you can also use this to get hold of uh, information that you're interested about um, uh, about in Google. So I've been interested actually in what. Um, and this isn't this isn't uh, academic research, but this is business research. What the university, uh, what Google knows about uh, academic research in the UK in artificial intelligence, and do we feature? So uh, I am looking for site colonnc.uk, and then the phrase artificial intelligence. So, um, what is what's known about artificial intelligence? Does Southampton University appear? So, if I click on Google search there, and now you can see that there's lots of results down here. I told you mainly about teaching. In fact, if I click on there, then what I get is another table which shows me um, all of these things. Uh, uh, in fact, I'll before going into details on that, I'll just go down to the bottom, and I'll click on the next page, and I'm going to click on that button again. And in Google, uh, what happens is that you get the current page will come up, uh, and but it keeps the previous pages that it sounds so like you see the numbers are going from 100 up to about 190 uh, because I have Google set up to give me a hundred uh, results in each of my search pages you may only have 10 uh, and then it shows the previous page and so um, if I go click next again and here I can get the third of those pages added on. You can see 200, 202. It's not dynamic like Twitter is. And I can choose how many of them I want. So let me just get the fourth page up there. There we go. Um, there you are. Um, so I, I won't bother getting the rest of it. If I bring up Excel, again, start up a new document paste things in, uh, reorder, do the sort again. Uh, this time I'm going to sort on the N uh, because there isn't really an actual date for everything. Some things have a date um, put into them. Let me zoom out again. There we are. Um, so this is number one is of course the the top ranked one in Google, if that's important to you. You can see I've got the, the title and the snippet, that's the summary of the bit of the document that's relevant that Google gives you. A date, if it gives a date of publication. Uh, the final column is the URL, and that's the actual URL that, that Google is telling you to go to. And then I've got <coughs> these three columns here, the main host of category. So the host is, is just telling you which web server, and it takes strips things like www off the front, so you can just see, oh, that's Edinburgh University. The domain just tries to give you an idea of um, something, well, it's the UK academic domain, or it's a .com address, or it's, it's a government in New Zealand, or something like that. And then category, uh, I've just got a very simple categorization of uh, a number of the uh, a number of the hosts that I've been collecting to try and help me in studies like this to determine who's talking about things now here most of what you're going to see well all hopefully all of what you're going to see is academic um, because I've 
artificially restricted it to ac.uk, but you can see that a few of them, I've actually marked them out as UOS, University of Southampton. So that helps me to see um, how many things uh, the University of Southampton uh, has got. Anyway, so uh, I hope that you'll find that useful. Uh, and please let me know if there's any problems.